And it's your boy DJ Wolf here again. Um, you know something else I wanted to talk about, and, 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 and I've been kind of chomping at the bit about it too. I've, I've kind of briefly touched on it before. I want to kind of touch on it again. Uh, there is a, you know, there was a couple of videos, a couple of podcasts, and YouTube videos I did were about women, where people were talking about a uh, black woman's God. Which I still totally do not agree with because I think that's a that's a major misnomer and it's a false representation of what God is, you know. As far as I'm concerned. Now, with that in mind, oh Lord, here we go. With that in freaking mind, all right, nigga, make up your damn mind. Stupid fuck, you knew what's going. On. Excuse my friend. This damn fool that ride on the bike, and then he the mid, uh, all of a sudden, at mid turn, he decided to jump in the middle of the lane and make a right left turn. <laughs> Knew I saw I was coming behind this dumbass. People just do anything to try to get a quick buck. I swear. But anyway, uh, but anyway, I talking about uh, uh, people. Uh, talking about black woman. Woman is God. There have been no substantiation about why they feel that way. No one has yet brought me any. Substantiation on why they feel that way. Okay, you haven't tied to your opinion. I just like to know what the hell you mean by it. You know? But they said, well, it's been proven that uh, uh, Africa was uh, civilization, was started civilization. Okay, I've heard stories about that too. Don't mean it came from the woman. But I, let me let me elaborate why I'm saying this. Because I've noticed in society, oh, it goes all the way back to slavery. Black women has been exalted, where the black man has been uh, demoted, talked about, put down, ridiculed, shot, stabbed, hanged, raped, everything you can think of, you know. And I'm t- I'm talking about in terms of. <clears throat> being degraded, man. All our lives. There's been history stories and histories of black men. Even at the top of the game. Uh aka President Obama. Have been disrespected. You know? You go you go to the high of highs and they still try to disrespect you, man. And I was just I was just thinking about that. You know, we can't get no love, man, no matter what. But they'll put the black woman out front. Notice, I, I give you example. <clears throat> okay. You got one black guy who hosts a show on CNN. I, Van Jones, who I'm kind of a fan of. Actually, he very much speaks his mind about different things. But all of these panels that they have on a lot of these talk shows on CNN and Fox, of course, and uh, MSNBC, I'll get to that in a minute. But CNN, Fox, uh, yeah, those, those guys, uh, a lot of most of the panelists talk about the different political issues. What do they primarily talk about mostly? They primarily talk about the things that go on with the White House, of course, but they don't want to have a diverse uh, group of people talking. You know, I've noticed that. They don't want that. They do not want that no matter what. And it's just, to me, it's totally silly to me, you know? It's totally silly that people do that. So there's no, you know, diversity now on these uh, news formats, these highbrow news formats. They don't want that. They want their opinions to be predominantly white driven so they can punch holes into the stories where they want you to believe what they ever they want you to believe you know that way they can tell you their stories and not your stories that's how the media controls what you think okay not just the media either I won't I won't go into elaborating that but what I'm saying is that our stories 
media wise have been told by other people when we tell it it's never really heard but somebody else tell it it's all over the place and you don't know if it's fact or not half the time because sometimes it gets distorted and that where I'm where I'm going on at is the a myth of uh, misnomer where they actually if you look at a lot of the television shows and movies and stuff like that especially the ones that Hollywood support they always portray any black woman in most movies as the stronger sex in those films look at hidden uh, figures uh, uh, I mean I'm trying to think of a bunch of movies like that that's just just a prime example although it's based on a true story but you got there was a book that I bought uh, from a guy who wrote a book about uh, the first black secret, secret service man I forgot the guy's name I got the book what really ticked me off is the fact that that was based on a true story and there was never a movie by him to this day you don't know nothing about it they don't talk about that but if you talk about period pieces with black men the ones at least the ones I've seen they use about black men who were enslaved like 12 years of slave nothing about you know you know about brothers who actually uh, broke ground you know in terms of uh, kind of like what they did with uh, hidden hidden figures you know, and really, we shouldn't have been. They should have. We should have known about this fifty years ago. Those 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 three black women over at NASA. We should have been know about it. You know. You know. I don't get me wrong, but that's what I'm trying to say about the, the media. Uh, the mainstream media controls a lot of what you hear and what's being said based on their interpretation and the way they see the things not the way you see the things or the way things that are or what was actually out there versus what you're told is there you know and that's the same thing about black men we're being we've been stereotyped for so long man that it's it's almost common not that I condone it but it's almost common that white people just think that oh black men they're sub su subject to being criminal being a criminal part of criminal element no matter what and they always always ev evaluate or over evaluate you all the time about different things no matter where you are whether you're on a job workplace whatever they do it all the time you could be in a store just shopping what usually people do ask you um do, do you work here I had almost told a woman off one time, do, you, do it look like I work here? You know? Yeah. And I didn't have no uniform or anything on. I'm like, really? Because usually I know Walmart, they usually, there's a specific uniform they wear, and Target, they usually, usually wear a specific uniform. You know, so why would you ask that dumb question? You know? But that's another whole story. You know? And... But... What I'm getting at as black men, even you know, we've always been stereotyped. Not only by white people, but our own people. Our own women. Hell. You know? And I think, honestly, that's this is me. Because we our women have so many kids on a wedlock. I think this to a point because they like being single. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if a woman have two or more kids, it has two kids out of wedlock, and they have more than two kids out of wedlock, they enjoy being single. I don't give a damn what anybody says, especially if they've never been married. Particularly if they've never been married. They and they they prefer to be that way. You know? They prefer to be single. And I'm not saying nothing out of turn. This is a fact. You know, I know some women have four and five kids who are single and happy being single. And happy being single, raising four or five kids by themselves. You know, there's a reason for that. Uh, they get stipend <laughs> through the government or something like that, 
or maybe uh, child support, you know, court order child support, you know, the different ways they can go about getting for money, you know. So they well, well taken care of. Black man, you know, he tried to do that, uh, you know, you'll give him the third degree. You know, we when it comes to us, man, we, you know, we, we are, I, I think black men for real, and I ain't talking about just any black man. I'm talking about hardworking black men who go to bat for their families and their kids, even if they're single fathers, even if they're not married to the baby's mama. Usually, the average black men who work every day and go out there and do their thing, man, are always the ones that's disrespected. Almost always. I'm telling you what I know. I've been in that rut, and I know several black men like me who have been in that rut or been lied to by women, been played with by women, you know, or got or, or women have got over on them by, by something, you know, because the mindset, not only by the media, but other people who influence the women to think that, uh, you don't need that man or whatever. You can do bar bad by all by yourself, you know. And you got cases where some women won't even allow their kids to see their father just for spite. That's been pretty well known. I've seen videos of it on YouTube all the time. You know, there was a, I think it was an incident where uh, the one woman, I think she something about she didn't want her daughter to see her husband or somebody, her ex-husband, because she was jealous of it. Some, some, something to it. I don't remember the exact story, but but I think she shot the husband or something. It was just some crazy shit that went down. But it's just the mentality, man, that is being taught. And I don't completely blame me on that. But some of it because some of our women teach other women to be that way, and that's a fact. You can say, oh, no, that, oh, no, I'm saying a lot of you do. And I don't give a damn if it's all or just two. But you do it, period. That's a known fact. And I'm not going to backbite on it for nobody. I'm not. I'll give you another example. Maybe not a great example, but I'll give you another example. Uh, on my 50th birthday, I went to Jersey, right? And I was talking, I saw this guy post, this stupid, one of the most retarded posts I've ever seen. On Facebook, and this guy this is a guy now, and I'm show you how much of a simp he really was. He was a fucking simp. He talking about all black women are fertility queens; they fertile. That's basically what you're saying. He was talking about he had four kids and all this other stupid shit and all that, you know. And I'm pretty sure he probably wasn't taking care of him and most of them anyway, you know. But that's another story. And I ain't saying that that's like that with all our brothers, but. He was a brother that wanted to exalt black women uh, for being fertile. I'm like, really? So I went on the thing. I said, dude, if you believe that you're a simp, if you believe that that's all black women are good for, do you know this nigga not only got mad at me for saying that, there were women, true story, there were women who got upset at me for making the same statement because they read the statement that I told him. And they got upset. They actually got upset. Bitches got upset over what I said versus what this fool said. And that's why I said, sometimes I be I watch Tommy Sotomayor. You know, that's my dude, man. I met him I'm, I'm, uh, about two years ago. Really nice guy. A lot of what he says, fact. Like I said, you can say what you want to about, about that brother, but the brother tells the truth. He brings the truth. He brings the dose of reality to your world. That's what he said. <laughs> Your world, my views. I can, and I respect him for that because he's absolutely right about pretty much ninety nine point nine percent of the stuff he says. You know, there's some things I don't agree with him about what he say, but it's most of the stuff that he says about about uh, what we're doing to each other in our communities is dead on, and you can't deny it. Our problem is we like to be coddled no matter what we're doing. You know, and. To me personally, that itself is a problem because you want to gloss over everything. So, oh, it's okay. One of the things I don't understand is why we don't 
preach about abstinence among our young people. That's one of the things I don't hear a lot of politicians, preachers, or anybody else talk about. I never hear them talk about that. Never. Matter of fact, I don't even hear most preachers talk about uh, a young uh, kid about to preach to the young kids about you know uh, not getting prayed at all. I never hear them talk about it. None. You know, and this is within the last four or five years I've been going back. You know, not saying that they're not doing a service by preaching in itself, but it's some of the things. I mean, I would think you would think you would hear a little bit more about that but I don't hear it being addressed much which is probably why you know 70% of the black women who have kids and usually have my wedlock are single mothers we usually have my wedlock so but what I'm saying is you got brothers out here that try to do right and they get dogged no matter what you know Especially if you like I'm in the minority of an office or someplace you work at. <laughs> Any little thing that they can think of regarding you. And if it's just a little bit of a mistake, of course, they're going to point directly at you. I've seen it happen. You know. What I would like to see the media do, and, and social media in general, is actually show and try to portray brothers who are doing right man brothers are trying to do the right thing brothers out here you know doing stuff man good stuff and we don't see enough of that you always see the stereotype but like uh, world star hip hop I'll give you an example you know I know the, uh, the, the guy who started world star hip, star hip hop uh, passed away uh, about a month ago but what I would like to see uh all these fighting on here, brothers fighting each other all the time. No, I don't. I don't like saying that. I really don't. And uh, speaking about guys, man, you know, we need to kind of grow up, man. We need these. these part of the problem is that we don't teach values anymore. Values aren't taught in the home anymore. And I know for a fact it ain't. Because if it was, you wouldn't have so many single mothers out here having all these kids if they were being taught at home guarantee you, you would have it as rampant as it is that's a fact you know another thing we don't know we don't eat right we don't a lot of us do not eat right we eat unhealthy like a motherfucker next thing you know by the time you get in your 40s and 50s and 60s you all broke down and shit and eating all kind of garbage and stuff and eating all that fried stuff I'm going to tell you like I went off my diet uh, a couple of days ago actually happened on Friday all right? really happened during Super Bowl and uh, I really I did, matter of fact really didn't happen during Super Bowl because actually I ate health pretty healthy during Super Bowl <laughs> you know have a big bowl of guacamole with you know with vegetables and stuff and it was pretty good what happened was this past last Friday I actually had some fried chicken in about two or three or four wings. And I don't even remember eating salad. Was that salad? Yeah, they, I, I think I ate, ate that salad that day. Yeah, I did eat salad that day. But nevertheless, what is this food doing? Nevertheless, uh, I still try to eat healthy. But I, I slipped, slipped. And then I turned around and went to a restaurant and, ate, and, and didn't eat so healthy on Saturday. What these people be doing out here, man? I'm not about to. No, you gonna slow that mess down. These people are stupid, stupid as shit. They piss me off, so I'm just let somebody in front of me just, just, just to piss them off. But uh. We gotta start eating right, like I said. And I, like I said, I, I Friday, I, Friday, I eating some fried. But it was actually it was two piece, two piece fried chicken. And usually I had I had been eating no fried food in a while. First time in weeks. Then Saturday I ate at a restaurant, but then I didn't eat anything fried Saturday. Did I? No, I didn't. I, I ate uh, I ate a couple of sweets. And then uh, 
Sunday, I did the same thing again. All right, then I did it again uh, last night. So I've been slipping a little bit, but, I, but it, it ain't like I've been eating a whole bunch of sweets. Not a whole bunch of sweets, but like a couple of you know, little things here and there. So really, I've been off center the last couple of days because of that. And I feel like crap. And I woke up this morning. I really feel, I, I, I almost didn't go in today because I felt so bad. So that alone tells me I got to really watch what I eat and exercise and diet more like I've been doing get back to what I was doing, the basics. So, and for me, that's a major wake-up call, and I'm hoping it be for a lot more, uh, a lot of other people as well, because we be slipping, man. We, we like, to, we crave what we want to crave, and we eat what we think, when we just want to eat and don't eat the stuff we need to be eating. I've, I've heard people say, I don't like vegetables. I don't like it. Really? I don't have a problem eating vegetables. My mother used to make me eat vegetables when I was a little boy. All right. Not so much made my brother, but me. Unfortunately, now my brother's my brother has type two diabetes as a result because she never made him do it. Never. No. Even when we was kids, I had to eat my greens. He had to eat his greens. I'm like, you know, and don't get me wrong. You have to be even handed. If you're not being even handed. It goes to show you you're playing favorites. And when you play favorites, that can be a dangerous thing. Lo and behold. Yeah. And that's why we have to, as a as a people, man, get right and eat right. Stop all this eat all this garbage, man. This processed shit that that that, that, that you've been spoon fed all these years that people tell you was good for you because it tastes good. This up something because something tastes good don't necessarily mean it's actually good for you. You know, that's how stupid people are, man. What is with these people driving like fucking fools tonight, man? Every night it's the same thing. Here I'm going 66 in the 55 zone, and this Bama is right up on my ass almost. Really? It's just ridiculous, man. You know? Ain't gonna do it anyway, but I told, I told my old ass, I said, I got one time for some fool, somebody act a fool on my car, and I catch him. We going we going there's gonna be some furniture moving. <laughs> Tell you right up front. I'm not gonna tolerate those this foolishness no more, man. You know, bottom line. But like I said, that's another other thing. Your brother out here, you know, you try to do something right for yourself, and people still don't respect you. Even you know whether you be in the streets or anywhere else. But what I want to say is this. For y'all brothers like myself who doing what y'all doing out here every day, you know, doing the right things, don't change, man. Don't bow down to uh, conform to what other people standards, other people standards think that that, that that you should have. If you're up upright now, standing and doing the things you need to do on a regular basis, you do what you're supposed to do on a regular basis and do the right things for yourself and your family. Don't buck down based on what other people uh, see standards as being. You know, as long as you have moral standards or right standards and doing the right thing, you don't worry about what, because I mean, I've had people try and influence me over years on different things. All you don't need to be doing that, you don't need to be doing this. I mean, my dad even told me one day, you know, I told myself, I was thinking about staying down in the DMV, man, because I said, opportunities, a lot of opportunities I had, and it was. Opportunities I had down here, I, I would, if I stayed in Cleveland right now, I would have never got it to this day. I would have never gotten those opportunities to play. Even when I went to school. I would have never gotten them. You know? So. That's why I said sometimes you have to. Know what's right for you better than. Some other people better than anybody. And I think when it comes ultimately. When it comes to you and you know. You, if you're right. You know what's right for you better than anybody else. It's good to take advice, but sometimes you have to weigh your options for yourself and not let anybody try to influence you or try to uh, influence your manhood because there are people who do that just because they're jealous of you. I've seen it happen. You know, 
people try to influence me, you know, in my own marriage. I've had people try to do that too. And I was like, I'm not going to let that happen. Let me be the judge of what I got to deal with, not you. Because at the end of the day, you have to answer to yourself and your own actions, regardless of what people think. All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. That's all I got for right now, of course. Questions or comments about anything I talk about? I don't even know what my name is topic, but you'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, it'll be posted. <laughs> uh, really, it's about being a man, being yourself, man. And stay, stay true to you. Not letting anybody try to, you know, influence you for the worse. Put it like that. All right, guys. Uh, DJ Wolf, of course, questions or comments? You can get, get at me at uh, DJ Wolf online at yahoo.com. Facebook, DJ Wolf Live page. YouTube and Twitter is for all to hear. And Twitter, of course, at for all to hear. All right, guys. It's DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say for right now. I got more shit about this other stuff on the back burner. I'll talk to you guys later.